All right, good morning, Shroot Stocks family. What's going on, guys? Today is Thursday, February 18th, 2021. Oh, God, guys. <laughs> I told you in my first few videos, right? It was always green, but uh, I, I was telling you from the beginning, we're going to have to see, start seeing some red days. Look at this. It's 1030 in the morning and uh, minus $10,000. You know who I'm really jealous of? You know who I'm jealous of? The people who got in on this right here. CCIV. Look at this, guys. Look at this. If if we just made a switch up, let's say even a week ago, in a week ago, it was only $35. Look, it's it's, it's 60 bucks today. 30, 35 to, to $60. Look, I mean, here's the thing. This was on my radar at the time. This I knew of. I'm sure you guys must have heard it too if you're following a bunch of other channels. A lot of, a lot of places were talking about CCIV. The thing is, we can't count on which one specifically is going to have the run-up when. Because, you know, let me tell you, when we had the run-up on Zometica, people were, like, missing out. And then, you know what they did? They ended up buying right up here. And then, guess what? It tanks. Then they see, oh, it go up, got back up, and now it tanks. Guys, we can't be chasing. We can't always just keep chasing the hype. Okay? We can't keep doing it. I know. <laughs> Trust me, it's, I'm, I'm struggling to say this. Because, <laughs> uh, look, as I'm talking to you, I'm losing, like, hundreds of dollars as we're just talking um but that's okay guys look we we are man neo is also down come on what is this oh we need some good news coming soon vgac man this actually would be a good time to buy in but oh, look at this everything is just dipping all of them are red that's okay guys even if i'm looking through all on the watch list all the ones on my watch list are red basically tesla is still red man uh, guys, I, I personally think that the market just really needed a correction for, for such a long time at this point. Um, if you guys check out some other channels and a whole bunch of things, it, they've been saying this for months now that the market's due for a correction. And honestly, this correction was supposed to be happening. Um, my thought process was it was going to happen at the start of this year in 21, like within the first few weeks. But it's a little delayed now. It's what? Almost... Uh, mid-February. I personally see this pullback happening for like at least another week or so. Uh, just because, guys, I don't know what I was saying. Look at, look at the, look at the one, month, one month chart here, guys. In one month, we went from sitting at 125,000. Remember, I didn't add anything at this point. One, I, I never added after like a couple months ago. We were sitting at $125,000. And then it spiked all the way to 170, 175. That's $50,000 in what, like two weeks? Guys, this, 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 these sort of gains aren't sustainable. They're not like, that's not something you should still get. And I want you to notice something. I want you to notice something. Look at this. Yeah, we're down like 10 grand today, minus six. Last one week is down. I want you to look at the one month chart here though, guys. Look at this, up 19%, tw almost 20% right there. That, that's a solid gain. You see a 20%, uh, that's aggressive. That's still really high. It, really a 10% is more than enough, but even 20 is, is really good. Three month chart, you know, we could start thinking we're still, even though we're down this much 10 grand, I, I'm telling you, as long as we have the right due diligence and we can stay convicted in our, in our positions, that's why I tell you guys, <clears throat> I don't like the fact that there's good things and bad things about what happened in 2020 in the sense with the markets. A lot of people got involved in the stock market game, which I love. I love the fact that everybody got in. But you see, I came, I'm coming from the position of when I first got in investing, it was 2013 and my first play was Tesla. Okay. In 2013, I put $1,000 into Tesla. And let me tell you what happened for the next four years. That just like that, that just went down <laughs> that, that tesla stock just went down and i was like oh should i just take the money when it hit like 200 dollars, i'm like oh you know maybe it's just worth it take it out I at least doubled my money you stick with it guys because if you do the right due diligence here's the thing that due diligence does for you guys it tells you it doesn't tell you when but it tells you that it will at some point be a good play it, due diligence cannot can never pinpoint exactly when the thing will pop when it's going to happen when it's going to run up Un unless obviously you know, you're chasing like uh you're, you're going after certain hype news and things like that and you're doing like a day trade or a swing trade then that's a different story but that's not the way we play things here guys okay we're looking to make in the safest way possible this 150 grand we're trying to make it into 1 million okay in in like a two-year time frame and the way we're going to do it is we're going to be 
doing some long-term holds and some swing holds and we're going around like that and the thing is we cannot just keep I know they say diversify, diversify, but you don't want to over diversify in, 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 in too many ways. Because if, if I take this, because, you know, I, I was tempted, you know, I did think of it. I'm like, last week, I'm like, oh, you know, maybe I should uh, sell some of this like Zometica shares. Then I could put it in a different play, you know, because I had, look, look, had a huge run up, you know. I'm like, let me just take some out and I could take some profit and then throw it somewhere else. Yeah, and I could have put it in CCIV and you know what? I would be better off this week. I really would be better off this week. But guys, if we set up a plan, we have a we have a process that we're going to go through. We cannot go based off emotions. I'm telling you guys, the only time you will lose money in the stock market is when you go and use your emotions. It's the same thing in relationship, guys. Think of your if all my guys who who may be single and things like that, when you're in the stock market, consider that you're dating the stock market, okay? I want you to think of you and your and your portfolio as a relationship, guys, okay? Sometimes you guys are going to be green. Things are going to be great. But guys, no long-term relationship is going to stay green all the time. And the thing is, if you guys are looking at, you see, that's why I made the big statement there. It's long-term. It's a long-term relationship, guys. We are not in this for the short term. We're not in it for the one week. Quite honestly, guys, I, I show you guys these updates, um, you know, daily just so, you know, I can keep you guys updated on anything I do and what it's looking like. But really, guys, if, if you want to be, if you want to play it the right way, you could really just find a few stocks that you are convinced these are good. These are going to be solid holds and I want to keep these and then just delete the app. Don't even look at it. Don't even look at it for one year. And then come back and see it, guys. Uh, I don't change anything I've said before about Iro. I don't change anything I said about Clover. But man, Clover. <laughs> I don't change what I say about it, but man, please, I need some. Uh, <laughs> I need something to come up again. I remember in my other videos, I was saying I, I was expecting to hit $14 mark. And that, that, this week, yeah, this last week, I was saying I was hoping it to hit 14 again, but that's okay, guys. Um, I've done my research on Clover Health and this thing is going to be huge in the healthcare industry. Right now, it just seems like there's the entire market just went through like a huge, huge run up for the longest time and um, it's bound for a cool off. It's bound for a cool off and when the time comes, when things stabilize and Clover can start producing its results and its numbers come out and its balance sheets and investors start looking at it and Wall Street starts taking a look. Guys, then we'll see this thing come up again. You know, all of these plays, guys, I'm still standing with. No change on any of them. And, you know, one thing I just want to mention at the end of this, guys. Um, I just really want to thank you guys. I know I've been saying it in all the videos, but really, I, I read all the comments you guys are posting and, and all the feedback I've, I've been getting. Um, this is, I can't tell you how happy I am to see this family be, be growing so, so much so quickly you guys are in this journey with me you guys are, are i want this stock to be my journey this is our journey I, I wish there was a way we can have a uh, screenshots like you know posted up and stuff you know but um i because I, I really want to see where everyone's sitting at and you know like get like the daily update just the way same way i give you the daily update if you guys could give me i, I would love that because i just want to see how everyone's portfolio is growing what you guys are doing and i want all of us to become wealthy remember what i said in the beginning we're not going to become rich we're going to become wealthy wealth is generational rich that's just that's just instantaneous you know we are trying to build wealth stuff that our kids grandkids this is you, if you hear the name vanderbilt that carries that carries something with it rockefeller that has a name to it okay in short stocks we're, we're trying to build a name for it okay guys um Thanks again for everything, guys. Uh, it's, I'm going to end it here because, what, it's 1041. So, yeah, it's 1041. I might do a check-in in the afternoon if anything changes. But like, for, for the rest of the day, guys, I'm, I mean, really, if we can kind of keep the market here around the 155, I'm expecting this thing to hover. I'm expecting a pullback over the course of the next week to, like, 150s. I'm really seeing this thing drop even more because... Like I'm saying, guys, this is this is just not a sustainable growth. This and, and you don't want it to be like that. You don't want to be in a you don't want to be in place that are just gonna skyrocket, skyrocket, skyrocket. Because you can't predict it. You can never predict it, guys. And that's all I want to say here. Uh, thanks again for all the support, guys. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.